Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a couple of team of the season cards to review, as you guys can see in this club currently. Uh, gonna, gonna have to get more coins to get the Vinicius Jr. card, but for the first ones, we'll start off with the defenders and then move to the midfielders to the attackers afterwards. So uh, the first one's gonna be the new Araujo card, right? So with Araujo, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot four, medium, medium work rates, right footed, two star skills, three star weak foot. In-game player traits, he has the injury-prone traits, so no dives into tackles or anything crazy like that. In-game attributes, this card is going to be working with a 96 for acceleration at a 99 for sprint speed, which obviously will be, I think, good enough to use in the meta of this game. Uh, he's not going to have any shooting capabilities. Uh, the passing on the card is, to be fair, in a pretty decent area. It should be, considering the fact that he plays for Barcelona, but... Um, yeah, the short passing, long passing will definitely be uh, a huge plus for a card like this playing in the defensive positions. Uh, without Aujo, guys, we're taking a look at a card who has 99 reactions with a 99 for composure. Agility and bounce is going to be in a good area. The dribbling, however, is not going to be in that crazy of an area. So that's going to be more for the on the ball movement, I believe, when it comes to uh, using him in the defensive positions. But obviously, we'll be taking a look at that in game. Now, with the shadow chemistry style for Araujo's card, this is what he's going to look like. So, Shadow Chemistry Style will be giving him a 96 for acceleration, 99 for sprint speed, while making his defense essentially perfect. Uh, the reason why the Shadow makes the most sense is because, one, the pace boost is definitely going to be very important with the physical attributes that he gets as well, right? So, a 96 for strength, 90 for aggression, 90 for jumping uh, should definitely be good enough to work with for the meta of this game. So, with Araujo, guys, we are going to be trying him out, again, mainly in the defensive positions. We are trying out a lot of other cards here. Every time I look at Benzema's card, I only just hope every single time that they would have given him the high-low record on the team of the season. But the high-medium is still pretty nice. Uh, but for this 3-5-2 tactics from Spencer, uh, we're going to be trying it out in the... Um, the friendly game, though, we're going to be doing Division Rivals, we're going to be doing Foot Champs, all of that good stuff to try out the card to see uh, the capabilities of it. So, yeah, we'll, play, we'll be playing him in the center back position, as well as some other positions as well, playing on the left side and the right side to see how he kind of uh, contributes to the team and how well defensively uh, he does. So, we'll see how he plays in game. Hopefully, he is a beast. Yep, just got to block the general area there. Ronald Araujo. Nicely done. Mine too, nice. Thank you, Ronald. Pass it back. There you go. Nice. Araujo. Oh. Araujo. Oh, good. With the other foot, too. Yes. Araujo. Araujo. Oh. oh, thank you, Araujo, for the reach, you beauty. Please, Araujo. Thank you. I just had to manually defend there. Block the angle. Well done, Araujo, with a defensive AI. I like it. Araujo again. Nice, Ronald. Uh, 
That just went through my legs, by the ways. I don't know who that was, but whoever the other guy was saved my life. Okay, so no like crazy jumping animation there from Araujo. <laughs> Ronald! Thank you, sir. Oh, dude, yeah, I scored with Ron Felix just now. And now he's, he's using his Ron Felix. He's like, no, I must do some craziness. I just got to switch real quick. There we go. boy Ronald came back, but Kunde with the initial block. That saved my life. First time pass. Nice. Ooh, like that. Okay, a little second man press. Thank you. Yes, Araujo saved me. Thank you so much. Well, at least he reacts to it well. It's good. Oi, I'll trigger nothing? Come on, bruh. I mean, in this game, you kind of have to tackle. I'm not going to lie to you guys. The pressure by Araujo. Yeah, you better get that, Araujo. You better, bro. Please, Araujo. Thank you. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Araujo card. So, guys, in regards to how this card performs in game, uh, the Shadow Chemistry style is definitely going to make the most sense because you want to be able to ba uh, to boost uh, his pace as much as possible as well as his defense. Now, what I noticed about Araujo's card in game, guys, is that defensively, uh, he actually did quite nicely. I'm not going to lie to you. He definitely did. I would say that the main thing that I maybe noticed is that you know his on the ball movement isn't the craziest but it doesn't really matter that much because you don't dribble that much with them anyways you know what i'm saying i feel like the agility and balance like compensates really well for it so it's not really something that i care too much about nor did i notice that much because again you're trying to dribble and go as much as possible with the defenders or with anybody that you're using so uh in regards to that didn't really care too much about that uh, the passing was perfectly fine on the card. The pace was perfectly fine. The pace will be more fine if you're using a four-back formation, but at a 96-99, it definitely works out really well. It would have been nice if we could have given him an anchor chemistry style, and then we boosted the physical a little bit more uh, while giving him really, really good pace, but he's still very solid on the shadow chemistry style with the pace boost that he gets, defense essentially being perfect. You know, it works really well with his six foot four height at a high and average body type. So uh, what I'm actually surprised of is the price of the card. 90K on the market, I think is incredibly fair for what this card offers you in game because it's gonna mainly be uh, the Barcelona links, right? Obviously in your team. So if you guys still have the Serginho desk card in your team playing in that right back position, and then you're trying to get the Pedri card playing in that right center mid position, in like a 4-3-2-1 setup, you could totally do that and it would actually work out really, really well for the meta of the game, right? So uh, the other thing that we're going to be taking a look at is comparison, right? So let's take a look at what this league is working with because when it comes to the Uruguayan links, I don't think people care too much about it, right? So I think Jules Kunde, we're going to be doing a review for him afterwards. I think he is really, really solid in this game. I definitely think they did a really good job with him. What's really impressive with him is the medium high work rates that they've given him. So definitely very nice there. We're going to be checking that out, that out afterwards. Uh, so I do think that Kunde's card is obviously better, but it makes sense for this price being higher. Him having the French links and stuff definitely makes a lot of sense. Uh, Nacho Fernandez is pretty solid in the game now after the upgrade. Um, nothing like crazy, crazy, but still very, very solid for sure. So uh, very similar cards, but they give you different types of links, I would say. Um, what else we have here? David Alaba didn't try the team of the season card yet. Do, do, do. Ether Millie Town. I heard Ether Millie Town was a monster in this game. And this card, especially on a shadow with those dribbling stats, like that's not even a comparison. This guy looks like an absolute beast of a card. But yeah, as you can see, there's not really that many... Uh, cards to compare with, right? So if you're actually looking at 
uh, a new center back that you need for your Liga Santander squad, squads, I, I don't think he's that bad, to be honest with you. Uh, I didn't mind using him in my team at all. I don't think he's uh, some sort of like crazy special card that performs better than I thought he would or anything like that. I do wish he had a different work rate because usually in this game, having uh, a person who is at least a high high, even a high high would have been fine, right? Uh, for that high defensive work rate, that's always really, really nice to work with. So I guess the main thing is if he had like a medium high, it would be fantastic. Maybe if he had like a four star weak foot, it'd be fantastic. But that's being really nitpicky for a card that is still at 90k for those Barcelona links if you want to work with. Because let's be honest, if the card was an SPC, I think this card price as an SPC would have been incredibly fair too. So uh, not a bad card, nothing crazy special, but definitely good enough to use in the meta of the game. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes, love you guys.